We used to have everybody step as close to the wall as they could, but that prevents a natural knee movement over the toes. So we can start back, um, maybe a foot, maybe more, that's fine. Um, it's safer to allow a natural movement with the knees as long as they're tracking over the toes. Um, old school squat form, we sit back, way back, and keep our knees back, but that's not safe because it forces us to lean forward and it puts a lot of pressure on the low back. So we need to allow the body to do what it naturally does. So when we're facing the wall for our drill, again, about a foot, maybe a little more away from the wall, toes out, knees out, knees tracking over the toes, heels just outside the hips, and what we want to do is raise our arms up, pass our head if we can, um, if it helps to grab your arms and grab your fists like this, and then sit down, keeping our core engaged, facing that wall, and hopefully what that does is it, it keeps us in good form and it helps us be aware of how we can control our body position without coming forward. When we add weight to a squat, we tend to let it push us forward, and again, we end up using our back to leverage that weight, and we need to be using the hamstrings and glutes to lift the weight. So, wall squat drill.